Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2023 Hit Parade Football Kickoff Autograph Dual Case Random Team 2. This is a Jaspie exclusive. 20 total boxes in here. Big thanks to the people who bought their spots straight up and congrats again to the people who won their spots in those Luminance box breaks that we did. All 32 NFL teams are in. Let's do it, let's roll it, let's randomize it. Five and a one, six times for names and teams. One, two, three, four, five, and a one. Sixth and final time. We got Jalen down to Chris. Five and a one, six times for the teams. Two, three, four, five, and a one, six and final time. And we got the Saints down to the Broncos. Now feel free to trade if you would like, but remember, just trade at your own risk. There's a limited number of cases and only a finite amount of hits in this print run. Jalen with the Saints. Carlos, you got my Raiders. Chad with the Bengals. Barry with the Texans. Ron with the Falcons. Chad with the Giants. Andy with the Rams. Lewis with the uh, Packers. William, last spot, Mojo, Niners. Andy with the Steelers. Brian with the Patriots. John with the Dolphins. Ivan with the Buccaneers. Nancy with the Seahawks. Ivan with the Chargers. Carlos with the Fly Eagles. Fly. Ivan with the Cardinals, Ryan with the Browns, Greg with the Commanders, Justin with the Titans, Bennett with the Chiefs, Eugene with the Ravens, Peter with the Boys, Eugene with the Jags, Lee with the Bears, Jalen with the Jets, Kaim with the Vikings, uh, Davin with the Panthers, Carlos with the Bills, Mark with the Lions, Bennett with the Colts, and Chris with the Denver Broncos. All right, so let's alphabetize by team. And we're gonna pause the video just for a little bit. When we come back, we're gonna see if there's any trades. Then we'll have the break, which is this hit parade. Remember, it's a Jaspi exclusive that that, uh, that we curated just for you, powered by a hit parade. So thanks to the guys at Hit Parade. And thanks to you boys and girls for getting in. So we're gonna pause the video. We'll see you on the other side of the trade window. All right, welcome back. No deals were done in this two box, two case break, that is. So there you go. So here on a Chew Tuesday, big thanks everybody for getting in on the action. Appreciate you. And let's see what we got. So here's one case right here. Thank you to Hit Parade. Yeah, going back to the diet thing, Duncan was mentioning changing the type of snacks and booze. Yeah, the booze thing was drinking a lot of uh, a lot of beer and wine. But now, which, which, you know, are delicious, but just tons of calories. Especially if your tolerance gets, gets a little higher, then you need a little bit more beer and wine. And there's a lot of sugars in wine, too. But now, those are just treats now. And, so, and I just stick to like a simple, whiskey or a gin or something like that, a little bit of ice, that's it. No, no mixers or anything like that. That also helps. All right, we got T. Higgins, rookie, jersey, and autograph to 25. Nice hit for the Bengals, that's gonna be for Chad Cromwell. Tough week one for the Bengals, but that's what happened to them last year and they, it looks like they finished the season just fine. All right. Next box. And, ooh, nice. A tough week for this team too, the Steelers. But I'm sure they'll bounce back. There's Kenny Pickett, RPA. 33 out of 99 for the Steelers, Andy Rask. And great start so far. We got Spectra Hoops on the site, basketball fans. So if you want to go to jazbeescasebreaks.com, check it out. ABC, always be closing. Hi, 
I thought that game was going to be a little bit closer, that Niners-Steelers game, Gabe. I had a little financial interest in the fortunes of the Steelers that day, but was wrong. Had a good week overall, though. There is J.J. Watt, 18 out of 25. Nice one from Impeccable Football. This is Cardinals edition. Turned down for Watt. Ivan with the Cardinals. Yeah, I, I picked a bunch of games. If you look at the schedule, there's a Joe's Picks tab for entertainment purposes only. I went against Gabe's uh, Gilo's Chiefs. I had Detroit plus six and a half, won that. That was just a one unit play. Had a two unit play on Atlanta, minus three and a half, got that. Had a one unit play on Houston plus 10, lost that, but one Cleveland plus two and a half at two units. Lost Indianapolis plus four and a half, one unit. And then I had Arizona, Green Bay, Vegas, all at one unit, won those. Won uh, Rams plus five and a half at two units. Lost the Giants at plus three, two units, but won my Jets at two units. Did not think they would win after Rodgers went down, but I got lucky there. There's Rob Gronkowski, Buccaneers edition, Gronk. Seven out of 50, game breakers. I like that acetate look there too. That's gonna be for Ivan in Tampa Bay. You know, not that wild actually, Gilo, because I, I've been doing some, uh, some I, I did a lot of research previous to week one. And uh, for the first one to, I think from week one to four, dogs and road dogs in general, win at about a, against a spread, win at about a 60-ish percent clip. So I kind of leaned into that, plus some matchups that I liked and went with it. Uh, there's Marshawn Lynch, Bills edition. Rookie autographs, 83 out of 199. That's awesome. Buffalo! It's going to be for Carlos and the Bills. Yeah, it is a pretty interesting interesting trend. And I think that, that maybe it's like 55-ish, high 50s percentage. I think that percentage gets a little bit higher if they're also... Um, in division road dogs. All right, so if you're division rival road dogs. There's CJ Stroud, nice. Signature moves, 39 out of 49 uh, from Immaculate Collegiate in his Ohio State gear. How did he, how did he do? I know they did not win, but where's that score? He did not put up a lot of points, but he, he threw for 242 yards, 28 of 44, 242 yards, no touchdowns, also no interceptions. Barry with the Texans. Also, another fun trend, and obviously you got to take trends with a grain of salt just because, you know, it's more, more, it's more of like a, it's not like a system play, where, but it's more, it's more like a, it's more like a, hey, it's a trend. It's just something just to use as, as a guide, you know, to maybe kind of narrow down the games that you're interested in playing. And then from there, you take that group, and then you see what you, see what you like and play those. But there was a fun trend where number one overall picks, QBs that are number one overall picks in week one, one and seven against the spread. It's now one and eight after the Bryce Young loss. The only winner, I think it was David Carr with the Texans way back when. Now, number one overall QBs in week two against the spread, six and one. Against the spread, so that's kind of a fun trend. Uh, John Elway, 
Nice autograph for my rivals, Denver Broncos. Chris, my Raiders beating Denver. So that's interesting because Bryce Young, who does he play in week two? Carolina is a Monday night football game. They, they um, are hosting the Saints. Um, I might be a little nervous picking that though. <laughs> Uh, is there a line? It's actually, Panthers are a short home dog. Carolina's plus three. I have to think about it, but I'll post my picks, you know, for entertainment purposes only. You can always look at the schedule. Yeah, I couldn't believe that, Gabe. Dak only threw 145 yards, no touchdowns, and they put 40. Put 40 on the Giants. There's Elijah Moore, Jets edition, seven out of 10, two color patch, an on-card autograph from Flawless, 2021 Flawless. That will be for Jalen and the Jets. And that's, man, poor, poor Jets fans. Losing Aaron Rodgers to that Achilles, wild. But maybe, I don't know, dust off your Zach Wilson's, I guess. Duncan saying, your punter's club, oh, your punter's club needed Lamb anytime TD for a seven unit return, 77 yards, no TD, and he was the last leg of your parlay. That's tough. You would think with all those points, if someone told you, hey, guess what? Cowboys put 40 on the Giants, you'd be like, yeah, absolutely. CD Lamb has a touchdown in there. Here's Torrey Holt, impeccable stats, 74 career TD receptions. 57 out of 74. That is for the Rams, the Ramley. That goes to Andy and the Rams. I'm gonna figure out my, my week two picks. There's Jordan Love. Nice start to his career with a, with a W, right? You'll always take that. Green Bay still continuing their dominance over the Bears. Jordan Love, 245 yards, three touchdowns. Packers fans, are we happy? You gotta be, right? Lewis is happy because he has Green Bay. Yeah, I totally forgot about the, uh, I totally forgot about, like, Vinny Testaverde had a similar situation, right? I think he was sort of a highly touted addition to the Jets, and then he was, like, injured within the first week or two. Yeah, Jan Holton, you know, hold on to that Jordan Love. Could be a nice season for him. Packers. Packers play or at Atlanta next week. It's a winnable game. All right, second case. Good luck, everybody. My dinner has arrived, so I'm gonna snack on some food after this, but we'll come back, go through some more orders and get some more breaks underway. Yeah, but wait, there's more, Eric. Two cases, two cases, 20 boxes total. And then we got Tony Romo, Cowboys. Big win for them. Peter with the boys to out of 199. Fun stat. I'll give you some more fun stats, ladies and gentlemen. Teams that win by 27 or more points in week one are two and 15 against the spread in week two. But that being said, I think next week the Cowboys are playing, are hosting the Jets, the Rogerless Jets. So if it was, you know, and people get why, you know, it's just like there's always that week two overreaction on the spread. Now, I think if Rogers did lead the Jets to a win and went on the road to Dallas, I think I would have picked the Jets. But without Aaron Rodgers, I wonder if Dallas will buck that trend.
All right, there's Josh Jacobs. He's going with number eight now, which is interesting look on a running back. Still not used to it. Five, it's a Wild West with numbers now. Carlos with my Raiders. But happy that Josh Jacobs and the Raiders were able to get a deal done for the year. Not sure, Jan. We'll worry about that next month. Let's worry about today. Today. A lot of group breaks. JazzPeaceCaseBreaks.com, ladies and gentlemen. Get into the action. Here's Dalvin Cook. Silver Ink Autograph, 36 out of 49 origins. That's going to be for Kime in Minnesota. We also have more of these dual case breaks up on the site, too. We'd love to run another one of these back. So get into it, football fans. Yeah, n yeah, number zero as well. The NFL has allowed number zero to be worn. That also looks a little odd out there. But <laughs> Did anyone read? There was a, where, where did I read this? In some sort of newspaper somewhere where, where there was a study done that says, like, certain numbers look more slimming. Uh, oh, that's a nice Odell Beckham Jr., 36 out of 49. That's from 2014 Flair Showcase Football. In 2014, that checklist would have had him as a giant. That's going to go to Chad. Not sure what Odell Beckham Jr. did in his debut. There he is. And the next box. Oh, did Cook's brother have a nice game last night? James? James Cook? Yeah, I think, yeah, that's exactly right. Yeah, like number one, single digit numbers. And I think there was like a inherent perception that you were more athletic or faster than you think you were. So like, I think it was like quarterbacks who had single digit numbers, opponents perceived them to be faster or more athletic. It was an odd study, but it was pretty interesting. But quarterbacks that had double digit numbers were perceived to be not as athletic or slower. There's Kenneth Walker, the third. Nice one from NT Football. Dual relic and autograph. That is for the Seahawks, Seattle. Nancy with a spot that she won in the filler. Nice, Nancy. But I don't know. If you're interested in stuff like that, Google it. It's pretty, well, I thought it was pretty interesting. All right. Ooh, graded. Graded card. It is Justin Herbert. Purple Power from 2021 Prism Football. PSA 8. Nice sensational signatures. 29 out of 35. That's going to go to Ivan and the Chargers with the spot he got straight up. Rough loss for the Chargers, but hopefully it'll be a good, good statistical season. As a Raiders fan, but as also a fan of the hobby, I want Justin Herbert to put up monster numbers. But, but not make the playoffs, I guess. Buffalo! Jersey and autograph, Dalton Kincaid. 42 out of 249 from 2023 Legacy Football. Slightly thicker card stock here. Nice clean looking card going to Carlos and the Bills. Hoping Bowman breaks out that I pull a Babe Ruth one of one retro fracture super, which is worth $2,100,000. Yeah, I saw that bounty that David Adams pulled out, but why do you hope I pull it? I don't get any of that money. I don't get any of that money. Unless, I guess, unless the person who who got it from one of our group breaks is kind enough to, to, to throw a tip my way. I guess the publicity, but... Next is another T. Higgins. Triple relic and autograph. This time, out of five. 
I like that. Chad with the bangles. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. Nice to get a train whistle on a Choo Tuesday. T. Higgins, good, really solid receiving core there out there in Cincinnati. I wouldn't mind that. I'll even take a 5% tip on that Babe Ruth one of one if one of someone gets it. Oh, did the Drew, Drew Jones bounty didn't get a lot of attention? Maybe the Babe will. Here is Garrett Wilson. Three color patch and autograph, 48 out of 49. Was it Garrett Wilson who had this amazing touchdown grab yesterday? I think it was Garrett Wilson, yeah. The, the football, he was, the, the, let's say the, the, the end of the end zone's behind me. I, did everyone see this play? Zach Wilson's pass came in. He had a defender defending him very well, draped all over him. And then he almost tried to catch the football this way, but sort of tipped it up to himself and as he was fun. That was pretty awesome. Jalen with the Jets. You saw the play. Man, I was just like, how did he, because his arms were weird, and then he came back down to, Concentration was, was, was amazing. All right, 20th and final hit, ladies and gentlemen. We've got another dual case break loaded up in the store. You also have ways to win your way in as well through those luminance fillers. You can win some spots for a fraction of the price. So however you do it, give it a shot. All right, final one. Good luck, everybody. It's for the Bears. I want winners. I want players that want to win. Mike Singletary. As a player, 14 out of 15 from Panini, one NFL. Very nice going to Lee and the Chicago Bears. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Remember, more of this in the store. Check it out, jazbeescasebreaks.com. And I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.